Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've been uploading, but it's been a very busy past two months. And yeah, now I'm ready to get back on my YouTube game to keep uploading consistently. And for those who are new to my channel, my name is Giselle. And for today's video, it's gonna be more of a vlog style. I'm gonna go renew my passport. That way I can start traveling again. And I'll probably be chatting a little bit with you guys. And yeah, so stick around. Cheers. As you guys can see, I'm drinking my matcha tea in the morning. I'm not much of a coffee drinker. It kind of makes me sick, but I will have a coffee maybe like on the weekend. Uh, other than that, no, I stick to tea. Coffee kind of makes me sick, but I do love cappuccinos. That I do like. I feel like everybody's all about Starbucks and I'm just like, I like the vanilla bean frappuccino, please. <laughs> so let's get ready. I'm just gonna do a basic, simple makeup look today for my pictures. That way I look awake. And I did my gua sha routine this morning, so maybe that's why my face looks a little bit more lifted. What do you guys think? <laughs> Normally when I'm doing like a heavier makeup look, I start with my eyes first, but since today is a little bit more simple and casual, I put on my foundation first and I normally don't prime my skin at all. I feel like if you can moisturize your skin very good, you don't need a primer, but I guess it just depends on your skin type. I'm very oily, so I guess I should be using like a matte primer, but every time I do, I feel like my foundation looks even drier. So I try to stay away from primers. Unless it's like a very special important day that I feel like I need my makeup to last like forever. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and use a primer. But other than that, I don't prime at all. But yeah, let's continue and I'll stop talking. That way the video can go on faster. And I totally ran out of concealer. I only buy the sample size. I'm sure I mentioned that like in one of my first videos. I buy sample size of the mascaras and sample size of the concealer just because... I don't know <laughs> for the mascara because of the expiration that's why other than that for the for the concealer i don't know i guess i just want to be cheap Also, the trick is when you're applying makeup, avoid making faces. There's no, I don't even think there's a reason to make faces. I don't think it really helps because I tried it before. It's like, you know, lifting up your forehead. It doesn't make a difference when you're applying mascara. So I think it's just like something that we do naturally, but try to avoid making faces. And you guys, I know I contour my face weird. It's just that I have acne scars, so... For me, instead of like brushing it upwards, I kind of pound it in. That way it stays well and put together. The only face expression I make when I'm doing my makeup is I kind of tighten like my cheekbones a little bit, like forward. Also because that's a great facial exercise where you tighten everything forward. Do that a couple of times and you actually feel like you're actually working on like your face muscles. I pencil in my eyebrows very lightly. I don't go so heavy because I don't want that dramatic look. And I never like that dramatic look anyways because my eyebrows are very hairy, as you guys can see. So I just feather them in lightly and, <clears throat> oh my God, my voice is going away. I feather them in lightly, that way just to give them like a little pop. Um, but other than that, you can't even tell that I have it on. I don't think it, yeah, I don't think. It's just a little bit. Maybe more like on a bald spot. A great self-care and self-love advice I can give you guys is do try to take the time to get ready. I mean, right now I'm kind of rushing it, but what I'm trying to say is get ready for yourself. Don't lose yourself. 
I know a lot of times we just get lazy and we just lose ourselves. We just want to be in pajamas or, or workout clothes, yoga pants all day, every day. But honestly, you, you're going to begin to start feeling shitty about yourself and you don't want that because I went through that and it came to the point where I was like, you know what? I need to take time to at least take some time for myself when I'm getting ready, even if it's just a little bit of makeup, like it could just be mascara or lipstick or a little bit of foundation but do try to get ready for yourself it's not about impressing anyone it's about making yourself feel better about yourself and trust me when you feel good about yourself you're just in a great mood and people feel that energy too so don't lose yourselves i know a lot of times even with females when you're in a relationship you get so comfortable when you're with this person for a, such a long time that you just don't even care because you're like well who am i gonna impress you know i already have my partner but no ladies don't lose yourselves. Of course, if you're going to go to the gym, you're going to go out hiking or like on those like fun outdoor adventures. You don't need to like glam up or put makeup on or anything. But just do something for yourself. You know, put some lip gloss on, mascara on. I'm not saying to put on a lot of makeup, but just put on a little something just so you can feel better by yourself. Trust me, mascara and lip gloss does make a difference. So that's just a little suggestion that I want to share with you guys because I know that it does make you feel better and it makes me feel better too. So I don't want you ladies to be going down the hill and losing yourselves because you guys are worth more than that and you guys really need to know your worth. So take some time for yourselves every day when you're getting ready. Put, put on some little lip gloss, mascara just to feel good about yourself, you know. Don't lose yourself. Luckily, I straightened my hair last night. You guys are probably thinking that's not a simple, casual look. Um, I just want to look a little away from my passport photo because, I don't know, just because. It expired back in October of 20... What year are we in? Oh, we're in 2021. I'm telling you guys, this quarantine got me like so confused on the years and months and days, I'm sure with everyone. But yeah, it expired on October of 2020. And now that everything's starting to get better with the whole pandemic situation, I'm ready to travel. I love traveling so much and I need to get my passport ready because I need to be catching those flights again. So that's what I'm doing. All right, you guys. Oh shit, let me move the car because the freaking FedEx truck is gonna park behind me and... Okay, never mind, he's not. Okay, yeah, so I'm already out of the house. I put my hair up in a little bun for now, just, um, I don't like having my hair down all the time. I like to have it up in a bun. Let me lower the volume. So yeah, so I'm on my way to go get my pictures taken, then I'm going to go to the bank, then straight to the post office, and and yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit, and then once I'm back, I will let you guys know what I have been up to, and just a little chit chat. I'll check in in a little bit. Ciao! So, I'm already done with my passport pictures, so I'm just waiting 10 to 15 minutes to go pick them up inside. <sighs> but yeah. It's so funny because I walked in and, um, you know, obviously I'm wearing my mask. So I'm sitting there and like I have a mask on. I'm already smiling. I totally forgot I had it on. He's like, you, you need to remove your mask. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, duh. So yeah, but um, I think they came out okay. So we'll take a look in a few minutes to see how they came out. And yeah, I'm very excited to start traveling again. I love traveling so much. It's honestly what I just rather be doing with my life. I want to travel, get to know other cultures. I love being in that culture shock too because it makes you so aware of what's going on in the world and just getting to know how other people live. And you learn a lot about yourself too. I mean, I feel like you learn more when you're visiting that country and when you're reading a lot too, you know. Uh, it, it's just magical. I really want to go to Peru. That's on my bucket list. And yeah, there are so many countries I want to visit and 
even Indonesia. I want to go to India. And yeah, what countries have you guys been to? Comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite city to visit, your favorite country and why. And if you have any recommendations. But yeah, I love doing that and it's a lot of fun. And now that I'm just here waiting, uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys up with what I have been up to. I have been so busy. My mom and I were working on a virtual show. Um, if you don't know my mom, she's a producer of a belly dance event here in Southern California and I co-organize and co-produce as well. So we're putting together a virtual show of past performances and it's so many videos it's like over 80 videos and i have been doing that putting it together and it's it's time consuming it takes a lot of work because not only that i've been working on the flyers as well like on canva basic simple flyers thanks to youtube you learn everything on there especially that um one website called skillshare i had like a month trial so I went on that website and I saw as many videos as I can. And yeah, that helped a lot. Also, I just been going through a lot of like personal stuff. The month of February was so hard on me. I feel like it was a test for me. I feel like my ego was taking over and I was just getting very like, I don't know, my insecurities were coming out. I was just um, being kind of like moody and it was affecting my relationship with others my relationship with myself and it came to the point that I needed some time for myself you know I took that time and you know to really rest because for because for me it's like I consider myself an introvert but when I'm around people I'm very extroverted like I want to see people happy I'm very loud I like to make them smile and laugh and it takes a lot of my energy and there's sometimes I just want to be by myself, like just, you know, in my own time. And I feel like maybe for the month of February, I didn't really have that time for me, even though we're in quarantine. But I didn't have that time to like really focus and sit down and really like do my my inner healing work, you know. And then when you're like in this healing process, it's not easy. It's so hard. You know, you think, oh, everything's going to be perfect. You're going to be completely healed 100 percent. Truth is, you're never going to be healed. You're always growing, you're always evolving, you're always going to be healing, you know, it's just learning how to sit back and having that inner communication with your higher self. The answers are always within you. So always look inwards and ask yourself, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this way? What is the solution for this? And honestly, just by doing that, sitting with myself, meditating, it really helps. And now I feel better. And, and yeah, you know, every day is a new day. Every day is a new opportunity. I, and I realized too, like I mentioned in my previous video of knowing your worth. I think I have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Like I mentioned in my video of knowing your worth, you know, you have to put yourself first. You know, you have to love yourself. You have to be kind to yourself. You have to do self-care routines for yourself. I really do think there's a hair. I don't know. Um, I feel it there though. Okay, I'm weird. <laughs> But yeah, it's just you have to take care of yourself. If you put yourself first, everything comes into place. You know, you love yourself, you'll be loving others. If you can't love yourself, you cannot love others. And that's pretty much it. So make sure you're taking time for yourself. You love yourself. You love your body. You love who you are and know your worth. You know, they can offer so many things and you are valuable and just add extra tax to that. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to go back in and go look at my pictures and I'll be back. Bye. So here are my pictures. Obviously, they're all the same. But look how cute. Oh, my God. I'm excited. All right. So now I'm going to go to the post office and mail out my renewal for my passport. And I'll be heading back home. Hey, guys. So I'm finally home. There was a lot of people at the post office. But finally, I already renewed my passport. Yay. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. Click the notification bell and let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more vlogs. I know it was a short video, but yeah, let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.